Well, hello again. This is Mike McGee, your um, adult, your adult and general DVD and Blu-ray reviewer, and I am here to uh, review a movie I've had a very, very long time. And uh, well, I was going to convert this whole video after I made it. After I made it into uh, so-called anaglyphic 3D, but the cheat software didn't include height and width, which is a lot harder, just depth. So that would have uh, helped to destroy 3D even further, so it's flat. But um, I also want to let you know, from what I found out, is that um, the restoration for Roman in 3D um, is almost complete and uh, it should be ready for public distribution. Yes, public distribution in the summer of t this year in the 70th 70, 70, uh, anniversary celebration of Romaine. I want to tell you something very interesting. Now, since 2013, I had the um, House of Wax. The 2013, uh, I got it 26, and the 2013 of the D of the Blu-ray 3D version of House of Wax. And uh, recently, I got the one that was reissued a few years later. This is the 1953 3D film, not the not the 2D remake with uh, with that woman. I keep forgetting Paris Hilton. I, I might have made a mistake. That blonde woman was in it. Well, anyway. Um, I got the, uh, I got a, I got the recent reissue thinking, well, they done something to it, like they might have simulated the two-channel stereo with the four-channel sound. Well, I'll show you. It's this. It's this. If you can see it, this is the new one. This is the new one. And this is the, um... 2013 one that I got 2014 I think and um, then I discovered unfortunately they didn't change anything so I was stuck with two versions and I said to myself instead of sending it back why don't I keep this old one as a good backup with the, with the new copy, it makes sense. Now, as I said before, I decided I wanted to keep uh, the two movies. And uh, certainly I didn't want to throw away this wonderful 3D box cover. If you can see it right now, uh, you can see it flat, but it's a 3D box cover. I just didn't want to throw it away. But, uh, so I'll just keep this one, as I said, as a backup. And, uh, this is my 3D glasses. But here's, a, here's, the, here's another thing about it that I've learned. Uh, when I played the new one, I, they did convert it into two-channel sound. But every time I played it up there, it sounded like... I, I couldn't barely hear the distinct separations as with the simulated three channel sound from the Redheads of Seattle. And then, but when I play it up here in my computer and um, the, the separations are in distinction. And the reason why is because up front is just a sound bar and whether the stereo simulated or recreated or real, it, the sound bars aren't very good and, and the, the, the separations are harder to, to distinguish. But up here, my screen is smaller and, um, if, and, and I have a, a six channel surround sound system. The separations are distinct. But I can say it can't say it can sound as good as it did when it had that four channel Warner Phonic sound, which is lost. Now um, take these 3D glasses off and let's read it. And here's the um, here's the uh, reissue version, if you can see it. And 
and it reads, the first feature produced by a major studio in 3D. Oh, by the way, this, this, uh, this uh, even though this is a general audience video, it's, this is only meant for 18 and up. Fan of films, 18 and up only. Not legally, but 18 and up, since it's a general thing. Okay, let's read it. Um, oh yeah, I want to say something else. I made a very big boo-boo. When I read TCM Film Festival, and they were going to have this in April, a theatrical show for the first time in years, I didn't. I read it too quickly, which sounded exactly like um, that it was the first color feature in 3D. And I said, wait a minute, that wasn't the first color feature in 3D. That was Moana Devil Island. I sent Turner Classic Movies website a message about that because that's because I well I read it that's the way it looked and um, yes I even sent a message to uh, Mr. Rob Fermanac on that big mistake which I thought and then about a couple uh, then about a week later I, I looked at the website again and boy I misread it it stated that it was the first feature length 3D film to be produced by a studio since Buona Devil was released independently. So that's what it actually read and I read it too too quickly. So I had to send TCM back a message that I read it too quickly and I thought they, mis they misprinted it but it was, you know, that, that that was more correct. So boy was it embarrassing. Boy was embarrassing. Well anyway, it states, uh, it states um, the first feature length, uh, feature length, first feature produced by a major studio in 3D. The most astonishing motion pictures as motion pictures began. Warner Brothers amazing three feature picture, amazing, amazing feature picture and natural vision 3D. Three dimensions, half man, half monster who stalks a panicked city for the for the beauties he craved for chambers of horrors oh yeah they remade it in 66 and they did it in 73 with ray milan and elsa lanchester unless that was a different wax museum and they did it in the 80s or 90s flat well anyway it comes off the screen right at you house of wax and warner color that's Eastman color under a different name. And it says, The Silver Screen's first major 3D studio, Warner Brothers proudly presents the most successful movie in the 1950s, the first produced by a major Hollywood studio, now in Blu-ray 3D screen legend. Vincent Price is at the terrifying best as he takes murderous vengeance on those who wronged him in the horror classic and I don't know what I, I should say this but for those people don't have any 3d legacy equipment they've seen it flat and you got the money Turner classic movie film festival in Hollywood which is not gonna it's gonna be brick and mortar this year is going to include a screening of the 3d version of House of Wax in one of its one of the theaters in Hollywood California and as I read, the cheapest tickets to seeing the movie three hundred ninety-five dollars, which is the cheapest. But um, if if you if you want to see the three D version and you got the money to go down there, if I were you, I would take advantage of it so you can see it for the first time and the only time in three D. If you don't got any three D equipment, because it's a question of whether they're going to ever put out, including the anaglyph version, officially. For those who don't have 3D equipment, big corporations have a different attitude. But anyway, it goes like this. The Silver Screen's first major 3D studio, Warner Brothers, proudly presents most successful 3D film in the 1950s. The first produced by major Hollywood studio, now in Blu-ray 3D legend, Vincent Price is a terrifying, at his terrifying best as he takes a murderous vengeance on those who wronged them. Special features, House of Wax, unlike you never seen it. Comments by David Del Valle and, and, and 
Constantine Nace newsreel, the newsreel, the theatrical trailer, 1933's uh, Mystery and Wax Museum before it was recently restored. They re they eliminated the third color because this is the old reissue before they restored it. Um, Warner Brothers presents the House of Wax, photograph the natural vision 3D in Warner Brothers. Uh, in color by Watercolor, starring Vincent Price, Frank Lovejoy, Phyllis Kirk, Carolyn Jones, Paul Persini. Screenplay by Crane Wilbur. Produced by Brian Foy, one of the seven little Foys. Uh, directed by Andre de Toth, and he had one eye. Not to insult, but. Well, what do I think about it? I think that Vincent Cro Price. <laughs> was the best monster ever. It was also the first time that they were emphasizing horror films in color more often than they did in the 30s and the 40s. Well, if you think about it, Phantom of the Opera 1943 version was really a melodrama than a horror film. And uh, it just it was less of a horror film. And uh, Vincent Price was very good, very, very good as the, as the decrepit, frustrated artist for whom his a partner, the actor that you've seen, if, you, if, you're, if you're my age, they show the repeats, he played the captain in the, uh, that TV show, Oh Susanna, with that uh, singer, actress, Gail um, Storm. And uh, later it's called the Gail Storm Show. He plays a captain. Well, the same actor plays um, his best friend and his, he wanted the insurance partner and he wanted the insurance money and he burns everything down and uh, poor Vincent Price gets out and mad and boy, the special effects for the fire, it just comes at you. And hearing it more distinctly in the two-channel two simulation since I got six speakers in my room, uh, you could hear the fire more clearly in, in, in stereo sound than that little bar up front. But of course, even real stereo, that bar is no good. It's no good. It's it's no good. But anyway, um, anyway, as I said before, the special effects, the fire, you just hear it all over your ears, as well as the great 3D effects and the 3D effects of photography. Uh, was so excellent. Frank Lovejoy as, as the policeman and the uh, Phyllis, uh, the Phyllis Kirk as the victim. And she she goes to her 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 mother's best friend, played by Angela Clark, who was in the Seven Little Foys, coincidentally too. <laughs> And uh, her, she knows her son, Paul Persini, and they start having a romantic interest. And Carolyn Jones, who was a natural blonde, who later had to darken her hair to get some better acting jobs, um, she plays the victim, putting on a Marilyn Monroe act, but she was never, you know, she was never that way. But anyway, um, and then being killed, by that, um, by the mean, ugly monster that you see without surprising, unlike Mr. Wax Museum, they surprise you at the end. But as I said before, this, as I said, this is the first time in color, they're making more gothic color films by the, by 53, which later were reinforced by the hammer color films in the 60s, horror film. But, um, And, and then Andre de Toss, who only had one eye, he, with the aid of, um, uh, de, what's his name? Uh, de, uh, excuse me. Okay, where is it? Uh, uh, Winthrop. Winthrop. His name is Winthrop. Winthrop. He worked for Natural Vision. He was one of the uh, advisors of, um, of that, and he helped advise um, uh, Andre de Toth on the measure and the distances between the, um, the 
actors and, and, and the sets because you just can't shoot 3D like a 2D film. You got to move, you got to upstage the actors from the sets behind or you got to, if some actors are, if there's some other actors, you got to downstage behind in order to get excellent 3D. Now see it in 2D, even for the best film, makes it awkward, but it's meant to be seen in two eyes. Sometimes you have to, uh, uh, for example, move the props like this to, to make, to, to get it pop out like, okay, like, uh, you're not gonna see it, like this, like that. Because if you get it normal, it's gonna be crummy. It's not even gonna look like 3D. That's the difficulties of 3D. And us 3D enthusiasts, well, we accept the limitations. It's like Cinerama fans are for these 70 millimeter accepted limitations. Here's the front cover. Here's the front. And here's the back. Now you see the sides clearly. And you can open it up. And there's the DVD. Wait a minute. There's the DVD. cover again. Now, there's some places like eBay and I think maybe Amazon that has the older 2000, 213 reissue of House of Wax, which has the original 3D box cover. But I do not understand why they didn't make a 3D box cover for this showing that for this reissue, it just didn't make any sense, it'd be a novelty. But as I said, as I stated before, House of Wax in 2D or 3D is, 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 is the best three, it's the, fir it's the first Hollywood major film in 3D. And uh, it's one of the best 3D films because for years I saw it on flat being curious about it and I finally got to see it when I got this version. But it was the best, and if you don't have 3D equipment and you got the money, go to the Turner Classic Film Festival. The lowest ticket price is 390 something dollars. Then you can finally, for the first time and only time, see House of Wax in 3D, but that's up to you. That's up to you. And um, as I said, I certainly like this movie. I usually play it in Halloween time hard time. But anyway, if you did like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.